Hi, I'm Chris Genza from 66 Fireball. This is Cherry Blows, the unfortunately named cheerleader from Outbreak, our zombie apocalypse adventure. We're going to use her deck to demonstrate the very basics of 66. So let's open her up. Let's ignore the pink cards for the moment, we'll come back to those later. The green ones are physical abilities, mental abilities, and more intangible things which are called soul cards, which are personalities and maybe in some game systems like magic would represent sort of alignment or magical power. Blue cards are skills, feats, knowledges, abilities, however you want to call them, but things she has learned during her time. And finally, white cards. These are equipment. As this is a zombie apocalypse adventure, let's assume she's trying to avoid being bit by a zombie. What's going to be useful there? Well, a good starting point would be her dodge card. And quite possibly her acrobatics, as she twists and turns out of the way of the zombie. Speed always helps to go faster than your opponent. Fairly easy with a zombie, but it doesn't do any harm. And how about Grace? So she's moving, uh, as the card says, poised and smooth in movement helps her to avoid the zombie. We add up the dice values of each card. In this case, they're all 1d6 plus 0, so that is 4d6. Let's think about taking other types of actions, such as um, cheerleading. She is a cheerleader after all, so that would start with the form cheerleader card. Probably the acrobatics is going to go in there. Her sense of balance and her sense of rhythm. Or, possibly, let's lose the balance and have some pom-poms. In this case we've got d6 plus 0, d6 plus 0, d6 plus 3, d6 plus 0. So Cherry would be rolling 4d6 plus 3 for her cheerleading. Let's look at something that Cherry isn't very good at. Communicating with people. Let's say she's trying to convince somebody of a plan to maybe hide or to run away from the zombies. Pretty much the only card she's got which might help is Empathy. Which says, understanding and insight into others' emotional and physical well-being. If you're talking to somebody and trying to convince them of, some, of an idea, I think that card will come in useful. But she has very little else. Maybe she can play her philosophy card. If she can bring it into the conversation, it may help her explain her point. Now, this is a key point about the 66 system. There are no rules to say whether she can or cannot play philosophy and empathy. In fact, there are very few rules to do with which cards can be played with which other cards. That is entirely down to the group. If the group, the whole group of players, not just the game leader, not just the character concerned, but everybody there, thinks it's acceptable in this circumstance to play philosophy and empathy together to convince somebody um, of an idea, then it is appropriate and it is allowed. If the group says, no, they're not convinced, she can only play empathy. And this is the golden rule of 66. You can only play cards together which you can convince everybody else in the group are acceptable. And that is the very basics of the 66. You play cards on your character deck which are appropriate for your action. If you can justify those cards to the rest of the group, you can play those cards. You add up the dice values from each of those cards and you roll your dice. If you score more than the target, you've succeeded. If you roll less, you've failed. That is 66 in a nutshell.